Here's how a cruise control actuator works. This here is a cruise control actuator on drive-by cable cars. It is responsible for actuating this cable which controls the throttle body as you're cruising down the highway. Now on a drive-by wire car, this here is the throttle body and the butterfly valve is controlled by this motor down here which controls the throttle and the cruise control. Now if I pop off the cover here and have a closer look inside the actuator. This here is the cable that comes from the gas pedal inside the car. As you can see when I hit the gas, it actuates this other cable here which opens the butterfly valve on the throttle body, causing the car to accelerate. Now if we have a closer look at the actuator here, you can see at the top we've got a primary plate that comes from the gas pedal that controls this secondary plate, which goes to the throttle. Now if you look closely here on the bottom, you'll see that there's a third plate. That's an electronic motor, and that can control the secondary plate, which controls the throttle under cruise control. To remove the cruise control actuator from the car, you first need to disconnect the gas pedal connection over here, as well as the throttle connection over here and then a four pin electrical connector at the back here. Now to remove the actuator from the car there are four Phillips screws under here that you can either get at with a ratcheting screwdriver or you can opt to remove the battery and then remove this bracket to get to those screws. Here's what the actuator looks like when it's removed and these are the four screws that they mount on. So just briefly how cruise control works it starts with the cruise control switch on your dash the driver sets the speed and it tells the ECU to compare the current speed of the vehicle with the set speed. If the set speed is higher than the actual speed it'll tell the cruise control actuator to put some tension on the throttle cable and open the butterfly valve causing the car to accelerate. Likewise if the set speed is lower it'll tell the cruise control actuator to release the tension on the cable, thus closing the throttle body and causing the car to decelerate. This entire system is a closed loop control system, so the car is always monitoring the speed sensor to make sure that the car maintains the set speed. Here's the cruise control actuator removed from the vehicle. If we take a closer look here, you can see that the top plate is independent of the bottom plate that controls the throttle. Now the reason for that is so that you can release the gas pedal and the cruise control motor can take over and control that throttle. Let's open up and see how this cruise control actuator works. I'm going to first start by prying off this bottom cover here with a screwdriver. Inside here we've got two limit switches that tell the motor what position it's in. So here in the home position it's currently activating this limit switch and as I move it it activates the other limit switch at the other end and when I release it goes back to its home position. We've also got a pair of diodes up here a small capacitor here as well as a diode down here. So just as a quick demonstration, as you can see the motor is currently unlocked. If I apply 12 volts to these two wires here, it locks the solenoid and I can't move that anymore. I can unlock it, move it, and lock it in a different position and it stays locked. Now these other two wires here are to control the position of that motor. So if I give that 12 volts you'll see the actuator move. And then I can give it negative 12 volts and you'll see the actuator reverse. You can also see if I move it to a random position and then release the solenoid, it'll flip back to the zero position. Okay, to remove these plastic welds, I'm just going to use a screwdriver and start picking on the edges of it. Now all of these components here are surface mounted, so all you have to do is use a screwdriver and gently lift them up and away from the board. Now that I've removed all the surface mount components, the last thing I have to do is remove this 8mm nut and then remove this wing. Then I can go in with a screwdriver and remove this board from the bottom of the cruise control actuator. Inside here you can see we've got two motors. The first one here controls the throttle and the second one here is the solenoid. I'm going to go ahead and remove the primary and secondary plates and this bracket via these two screws here. And remove that. Next I'm going to go ahead and remove these two screws here to remove the solenoid and then remove this bracket here. So how this thing works is basically the drivetrain is connected to these gears via a spiral gear and that's connected to the solenoid. The solenoid is essentially an electronic clutch. When you apply 12 volts here, it locks up and that locks all of these gears into this spiral gear. The clutch is activated through these two terminals here, which is attached through this slip ring, as you can see. When I rotate the outside, these contacts stay in the same position. So just as a demonstration, you can see the clutch is now unlocked and it's free to move. And if I apply 12 volts here, it engages the clutch, which engages these gears into the spiral gear here and now it's locked. To disassemble the rest I need to remove this top bolt. Before that I'm just going to disengage the spring here. And now that there's no spring tension I can remove this 10 millimeter nut. Now I can remove the solenoid from the housing by just pulling it up. Here's a closer look at the clutch. When you apply 12 volts here a bunch of coils in here cause a magnetic field which attracts this free spinning gear towards this side of the housing engaging it. Here's a closer look when I apply 12 volts you can see it engage and disengage. Now back to the housing just a simple gear mechanism I can pull these two gears out this 12 volt motor 
This is just a standard 12 volt DC motor. It just turns at a really low RPM for precise control of the throttle. And these are all the parts that make up your cruise control actuator. And that is how your cruise control works.